today is the 19th of August 2010 and someone has released a PlayStation 3 mod chip that will allow you to play backups, so let's have a closer look at it. Alright, so someone has finally released a mod chip for the PlayStation 3. Now, usually when you think of mod chip, like, if you think back to the PSP, you have to open the thing up and you have to solder it in there. If you're really careful, if you don't know what you're doing, you're screwed. You could screw your motherboard up, you could screw the chip up, you could do a bunch of things. But with the PlayStation 3 mod chip, it's interesting because it's a little USB flash drive, that's all it is. And what it basically does is it tricks, it tricks the PS3 into thinking that it's a developer's console, someone that works at Sony. So kind of think of it as the Pandora's battery for play, for PlayStation Portable. If you don't know what that is, just go ahead and search it. I have videos of back in the day when I did it. Um, it's kind of a, with the PSP, it was kind of a hardware mod because you had to um, flash a battery, but it was mostly software. Um, but with this, like I said, it's just a, a, a little USB flash drive. You plug it in, and it allows you to copy backups to your hard drive. So if, let's say... I rent a game from Blockbuster or Family Video or wherever. You rent a PlayStation 3 game, you can put it in, you can run this little flash drive, and it'll back, back up that whole disk to your hard drive. And you can play it whenever you want, no disk required. Um, this is going to condone a lot of piracy, and that's why a lot of people in Sony like don't really want you to do it, because people lose money over stuff like this. But um, some people will claim that they'll want to use it as legal backups and stuff. Um, some people really do. Um, some people, if they don't want their disc to get scratched, and if it does, they're screwed. So they can always back it up and be able to play it. I mean, that's a legit purpose. But let's face it, most people aren't going to want to do that. So um, what I'm going to do, since I can't find a good screen capture app, um, I have Camtasia. I didn't like it. Uh, there's, If you have any good suggestions besides Camtasia for Windows for screen capturing, let me know. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to watch some videos, and I'll give my impressions on them. Okay, so here I am at my desktop, and I'm going to open up the browser. So basically, it just gives you two demonstration videos, both of which I already have open on um, these tabs. And it says, um, let's see, scrolling's kind of choppy here, okay. FAT32, which is a format for a drive, uh, is currently supported. They're working on NTFS. If you don't know, you cannot use a, an NTFS formatted hard drive with a PlayStation 3. They're working to fix that, and FAT32 kind of sucks because it doesn't take file formats over 4 gigs. Anything that's over 4 gigs, it just doesn't work. So um, they're trying to fix that because if you're going to rip a Blu-ray, there's probably going to be some big files. But they say they've tested like well over 100 games, and they all work, so I'm not sure. But anyway, um, staying on uh, current firmware, so um, as usual, it's Sony's cat and mouse thing. They're going to try to block it out, just like with the PSP. Someone had a hack, Sony blocked it. Someone got a new hack, Sony blocked it. The same thing will happen here. Online play does work, but they can't guarantee you won't be banned, um, which I think is kind of stupid, though, because if worse comes to worse, like you're not paying for online, so you can just create a new PSN account. Final retail units are, are ready to ship, so like they have this little mod chip ready to go. So, um, stuff like that. I'm not going to finish reading all this. And down here they say they've pre-ordered it, so I'm going to um, be following ps3-hacks.com very closely because they're going to get it and see if it's really legit. So, uh, coming up here, here's just a video from the people that made the video, or that made the mod chip, and here we go. 15 seconds. This is a video of them actually backing up a game, what it's going to look like. So as you can see, they're just backing it, backing it up right there. They're dumping the game to the hard drive. It's probably going to take a while, depending on how big the game is. But then here's this video. You guys still think it's fake? YouTube tips. So I'm going to make a video with a PS3 and a TV in the same picture. Alright, so we got to turn this off. I'm just going to skip ahead a little bit. Just turns PlayStation off. That's the chip right there, that little glowing thing. Mm. God of War. Okay, it's going in. I will not leave the PS3. Ugh. Now basically he puts that disc in, he goes ahead and runs this from the cross media bar. Alright, now I'm going to PlayStation. 
by definitely a gem. And the program launches. Legal disclaimer. Yes. Legal disclaimer, that's yeah, for the piracy. And here's the games that he has that are ripped to the hard drive. He has Little Big Planet, Ratchet and Clank, two Ratchet and Clanks, and Infamous. And he has the God of War disc in there. Yeah, so it, and he's ripped each of these to the hard drive. So with that God of War disc in there, you can play any of these. There are games. Uh, let's play Infamous. I just dumped this before. So he's gonna boot up Infamous and he goes back to yeah, the disc. Yeah. See, infamous. infamous there. Play. And it be a secret for long. I'm sure someone will buy the USB stick, which is $170. Um, I'm sure someone will buy it, pop it in their computer, somehow get a rip of it, and just distribute it across the internet. So you can basically make this for any any USB drive you have around. Like I could just probably, I'm guessing, turn this into a $170 piece of equipment. So um, I'd like to be able to try it, back up my own games. Um, Maybe you can download them or um, rip them, whatever, to get kind of like a trial, and then you can buy it, you know, stuff like that. But that's basically it for this video. Um, I do, because I am a hacker, you know, like I, I've hacked a PlayStation, I've hacked my iPhone. I like hacking things, and this is definitely a very big achievement since this is console has never been hacked and it's been out for three, four, I'm not exactly sure, but three, four, five years. And Sony's kept it well locked down until this point, so uh, this looks legit. Go ahead, I'm at CPU Kid on Twitter. If you want to ask me any questions or if you have any comments, or whatever, um, please rate. Uh, if you can give it a thumbs up, we're cool. If you give it a thumbs down, my feelings will be deeply hurt, but we'll still be friends. So, yeah, thanks for watching.